Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Python Minutes tutorial series, where I will illustrate tips and tricks using Python. In today's video, I will show you how to turn your GitHub contribution graph from this to this. This video is purely for educational purposes. Please avoid hurting other feelings with your commit shenanigans. Now open the browser. From your browser, you need to install three pieces of software. First thing first is Python itself, then the Git, and any text editor will do. In my case, Visual Studio Code. And finally, you should have a GitHub account. On your GitHub account, go to repositories, create new repositories. In this case, I will call my test, leave it as public add readme files and create a repository. Now go ahead and copy the repository URL right from here. And now we can go to our desktop. Now you can search for any um, terminal or git bash terminal you have installed. So in my case it will be iterm. and pick a destination. So I'll go ahead with the desktop and I'll clone the repository here. I'll change my directory to the dedicated repository that I will be using. And I'm gonna open my repository into my VS code. Once you have that, go ahead and create some of the files. First thing, I'm gonna create a main.py file. Next, I'm gonna create a text file, data.txt. Come to your main.py, you can close the data.txt and import OS. Now let's define a function. And this function will take a variable, which is integer. And now I'm gonna write a recursion here. So something's gonna occur when, until the condition is met. So let's do that first. Then I'll explain the base case of the recursion. If days one, then return something for now. And I'll go ahead to the else, and uh, it will also do something. So, in this case, what will happen is that once the commit will start to take place, it will write to a file in in the descending order or backdating it. In in this case, and then finally once it has completed its cycles, then it's going to push that the, the commit to our repository. So that's the log business logic. And let's go ahead and implement that. So I'm going to take a date and I'm going to use the F-strict literals here. So let's call our days variable here. So days go. And now let's open the text file. And that'll be data.txt. And we're going to append every commit to that text file. And uh, let's say as file and we're going to do file dot write and within there we're going to do another f string literals 
And we're gonna say dates with new line. Yep, and that should do for the files. Now, before going ahead and finishing it off, there are three commands that are normally used in order to complete a repository um, push. And uh, there are, these are the first one where we stage. So staging. The next one is the commit and then followed by the push. So let us go ahead and perform these. And we're gonna do this with the help of OS modules, which is built in Python modules. So let's do os.system. And the first command, it's going to be git add data.txt. And so once we add our files to a staging area, the next thing is to push os.system. And I'm gonna take a single string here and gonna say git commit and then pass in the date parameter here and which will take a date. So if we have a date variable right over here, which we were, we were appending to our data file, uh, .tx, data.txt file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna say dates and then continue with minus M and then we're going to say it's a first commit. So that should complete the commit command. I'm just going to push enter. And uh, let's go ahead and return the days and the number of times multiplied by the number of times this recursion function will take place. So make commit and it takes days and then minus one and uh, finally to our conclusion function where if if the criteria of the recursion is met then is return here and again we're going to use os.system and do our git push command here And that is the push command. Now let's go ahead and call our functions. Make commit and pass in the number of days that we want our commit to go on for. So 365. Let's go ahead and hit save. Everything looks fine here. Now, if you don't have extension for your VS code uh, to use to run Python code, um, then go ahead on the top menu and find terminal and then select new terminal. Here you can type Python or Python 3, whichever in, is in your favor. Then main.py followed by the extension of the Python file. So that will do. And I'll go ahead and close this and I'll simply go and hit the play button. And you can see some of the commits are taking place now. So let's give it a couple of seconds and we should be complete with the commits. And we have finally completed our commit. Now we can go back to our web page where we have our GitHub open. Let's hit refresh. And if we scroll down and we can see our contribution graph is now filled with the commit. 
And if we go to our repository real quick and to test the repository where we push the commits and you can see the number of commits are 366 and all the commits are here. And uh, this is it guys. So this is how you can trick the contribution graph to look um, complete or most active in this case. And I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, please make sure to comment and subscribe and share uh, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.